This is a warning, a friendly warning to Jake Paul. Jake Paul, do not take this fight. Austin McBroom will do whatever it takes to win. I do not mean that in a good way. He will cheat. He will pay off refs. He'll do whatever it takes in that regard. In the cheater's perspective, do not take this fight with Austin McBroom. If you have a score to settle, settle it on the streets. Like real men, fist fights. You don't have to get lawyers involved like a bunch of sissies. You can just battle out like real men. If you really have a beef, if it's a real beef. Austin McBroom does his, you know, cover-ups and crazy type stuff. Crazy in quotes, not real crazy stuff, you know. Not like psychotic stuff. He's not a psycho. But he's got the money. He's got the resources. We saw that when he fought Bryce Hall in that huge event, YouTubers versus TikTokers. It was a great event, huge event. Spent all the money he could to put on a huge, nice show. It was very beautiful, very entertaining. He's just not to be trusted, obviously. Because of that, because of that result. And he wanted to make Bryce Hall look as stupid as possible. Which you can't do. They tried to mock him that with their little narratives that, that those little announcers were saying. Keemstar and that that uh, fighter girl even brought Fousey and the coach in on it, which was... Uh, I'm sure that was... a. Uh, hang your head day for those two guys because those two guys are more respected commentary wise Fousey and the coach whatever y'all want to say I know y'all a lot of y'all hate Fousey but he, he speaks his mind and he speaks good clear stuff he's a great commentator like it or not which was that was a great point about this event it showed a lot of people's strengths that you really haven't seen before and expose those people into the good light, like Jarvis, you know, props to DDG, and not the rigged fights. The McBroom fights were all rigged. Even the brother-in-law, Ryan, Ryan's fight. If you saw that cheating ref, rigged fight. Anyway, point being, Jake Paul, please do not take this fight. They might draw eyes. But please don't take that fight. Now they're trying to drag you back down to the to the pits, to the bottom of the barrel, way under them because they can't stand that they're way under Jake Paul. Jake Paul has it far exceeded above and beyond. Now Logan Paul needs to knock this dude out. Logan Paul needs to take this fight against Austin McBroom. Logan Paul needs to step up and prove himself as a powerful hitter a powerful boxer, shake this dude to his core and pay whatever you need to pay to get good real refs in there, Logan Paul. Which probably won't happen. It'll probably be rigged against Logan because Logan, especially if Logan stays with the zero one 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 whatever. <laughs> Sounds like a beta system for a computer. Anyway. Uh. Fight Logan Paul. If you really want the cloud and the popularity and the the, 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 the the big sparkly lights in your favor. But do it fairly. So Logan Paul can knock your dumb butt out. And I'm not, I'm not trying to shut Austin McBroom up because everyone has a voice. No matter who you are. They, you, everybody should have a voice. And no one should be getting canceled and all that crap. I'm definitely not down for that. No cancel culture garbage. I'm just saying we need to see a good fight. Jake Paul, he'll, it'll be rigged against Jake Paul to lose. And Jake Paul don't need that. He don't need that smear on his career. He just he doesn't need this fight with chumps like that. Logan Paul does. Not that he has anything to prove because he's a great boxer. He, he showed that. He's an amazing boxer. But you want to ride somebody's coattails, ride Logan Paul's, not Jake Paul's. All right, end of story. Love y'all. Take my opinion, don't.
and look more into this Austin McBroom character. You'll see how phony and plastic he really is. And fake. Alright. Have a great one.